Uh, yes, uh, in the news, uh, scientists rep uh, scientists reported that uh, they may have found the location where uh, the Not the scientists, but fake scientists. <laughs> fake scientists <laughs> reported that they may have found the location where uh, the ancient civilization civilization of Hazrat Noah alayhi salatu wasalam once lived and were drowned in the Black Sea between Turkey and Russia. They have found signs of sh uh, of a shoreline that w uh, was once that once existed far below the current level. They also claim to have spotted two ships among other things. What uh, are Huzur's views on their findings? This is all fiction. It has nothing to do with the truth. Because the area which they are describing, if the flood, the Noah's flood had come in that area, then the flood level should have been so high that it is impossible to contain that flood and it should have overspilled all around and drowned many other areas and it's impossible for seven day, forty days rain to pour so much water so it is surely impossible. At that height to which they claim that they have found the evidence of uh, uh, the boat of Hazrat Nu is absolutely impossible. At that height the boat could not have risen. In fact, if it had risen to that height, it would, uh, it would have completely drown the entire world and there is not enough water in the wor world to fill the whole world with flood. So it's all fiction. They go on saying such things. In my opinion, personally, it was the area of Palestine where the flood took place and uh, maybe in the Dead Sea that boat is still found because there is no way that uh, a wooden boat could have been preserved. There are only two possibilities. Either it was preserved by high mountains where the temperature is always much below zero and the boat is practically fossilized. And the second possibility is that it should be in extremely salty water where the germs cannot eat it up. So about the Dead Sea people say, the scientists say this time, that deep below, near the bottom, the quality of water is such that whatever reaches there, it will be permanently preserved. So from that I infer, I mean this is a guesswork, but it has a logic behind, that Hadrat news area was that Palestine area, and it should have been that Paris, that area. And uh, because that was the center of profits. And the boat ultimately, which was abandoned of course, must have gone deep into the Black Sea so that it becomes an ayah for the world to come. So like we saw the foreign, Pharaoh's body as a ayah, where nobody could imagine that this was this could be preserved. So, inshallah, I think one day the world to come will begin to see, will see this verse of the Holy Quran also fulfilled in in verbatim. Another point to be noted is that that place could not have been Russia because in Russia olives don't grow. 
and according to the biblical account supported by the Quran the boat reached the point of rest where there were olives again olives don't grow at that height it's impossible so it, the area has to be of small hills and hillocks where olives grow and you have plenty of olives haven't you in the Palestine area yes so it has to be there luckily for you <laughs>